one of my proudest accomplishments um, is uh, having the maple leaf on my chest as I go around the track in Switzerland with the uh, junior national team. We never said you can't. It's like, you know what? I'm not sure if you can or not. Figure it out, you try, and then, then we'll see. I'm Jacob LeBlanc. I'm uh, from Moncton, New Brunswick. I go to Moncton High School in grade 12. I play sledge hockey and wheelchair racing. I've been in sledge hockey for about seven years now and wheelchair racing for about nine years as well. I'm a very positive person and to me it's like when you come to a challenge you have to find a solution for it. It's not a closed door, it's just you have to figure out how to open up the door. So for me it was basically trying to find those solutions to be able to give to him, to be able to then learn how to do that and do it for himself when he got older. A lot of people set a low bar for people with what we'll call disabilities. I don't really agree with that at all. Pretty much every kid with a deficiency has surpassed the limit that people set for them. The low expectations they have isn't correct at all. It's like, what do you want to do? He wanted to play football. And I said, um, okay, well, try out for the team. And I called the coach and I said, don't, don't do any favors. If he's not good enough, if he's not what you would want to have on the team, then don't let him make the team. Then I told him, it's like, try it figure out your own thing. Just having that realistic side, but at the same time not letting that stopping you from trying. My condition is uh, called hemipelvectomy. I was born missing my leg, hip, pelvis, and kidney on the same side as my missing leg. I never had to adapt to it. So I just, my brain grew um, around the fact that I had one leg and just how anybody else would figure out how to walk. I figured out how to walk, but it was just a different process as everybody else. We were 18 weeks pregnant when we found out at the ultrasound, and it was, um, how do I make sure that he has the same type of lifestyle that my children can have, the other two children can have, but at the same time you kind of, you mourn, because you know everything, how life is going to be difficult as an adult, as a teenager and things like that, and you mourn the fact that there's going to be challenges in his life that I didn't have to have. I'd figure out a way to be able to do it because I wanted to join with, with my friends and anybody else playing. So it just not having had the leg before is such a great advantage, I find, because I didn't have to adapt. My, my lifestyle and how I think about anything really. I think the thing that the most for me is that I have to keep focused. It's like uh, what my goal was, was to make sure that he became a functional adult, that he would be able to part, be part of society and be able to give to society. So that was my first goal, but as he became more of an athlete and developed that, then all of a sudden his goal of wanting to be on the national teams, then all of a sudden I had to have that goal. So it kept me focused. When I put the leg on, I'm like, anybody else just slow down a little bit. It's a, it's a cast that comes right underneath my pecs. And um, so it's less mobility um, for my torso, but it gives me so much more than if I was on the crutches. It, it's a physical disability, and it's not as big as it seems to be. It seems insensitive to say that, but it really isn't in the grand scheme of things because who they are inside and their character is more important than what they can do physically. And if they have the character, then they can overcome those things. Since I was young, I've just accepted that that's what it is. And you can't do anything to change it. So if you don't embrace it, you're not gonna have a good time. I was very fortunate that's how my parents raised me. You want to go out in the backyard, play with, play with your siblings, go join them. You'll figure out a way to do whatever they, they're doing. I think the main thing is to just allow yourself to be the parent that you wanted to be in the beginning. Then after that, just allow them to be who they need to be and allow them to be able to figure things out on their own. And just, you know, at first you kind of teach them how to figure those things out. And then after that, you just let them figure it out on their own and you stand back and then you 
get close again to teach them those things and then you stand back to let them learn them. For parents, don't give it to them easy just because they have a disability. Especially if they're coming in from a young age with the disability, they'll grow as a person uh, figuring out how, what they're gonna have to do to be successful. You forget about the fact that he's missing a leg. You forget those things. It's mostly trying to help him to be the person that he needs to be inside to be able to overcome any physical challenges. If I were to tell someone that's able-bodied um, about people with disabilities, give them a chance to figure it out. Ask, do you need help? A lot of the times you're capable, you just won't be able to do it as well or the same way as the able-bodied person. Um, so if they just give them the chance to show that they can do it, um, it it'd be fine. The thing that I remember the most, the first comes to my mind is how, and I'm going to put the professionals, um, would say, oh, well, you know, he's not going to be able to do this. Uh, he can't wear prosthesis until he's three or four years old and he can't do these things. And you need to understand that he's not going to walk probably until he's, and it's going, no. My other children did, and he's going to get to do it too. So what do I have to do to make it happen? As I'm hands-on, I'm thinking once I get out of high school, I'm going to go into post-secondary, um, find a trade that I like, and pursue that. So even if I get to that point of I can't play either sledge hockey or wheelchair, or both, I have a plan B to fall back on that I'm already in the process of building up. Mm -hmm.